Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Kim Mulkey threatens the Washington Post with a lawsuit during a four-minute tirade over unpublished article. Kim did the opposite of making people uninterested in the article. Let's hear what she had to say, Ocho. Come on, talk. Talk it, mama. This reporter has been working on a story about me for two years. Mm. After two years of trying to get me to sit with him for an interview, he contacts LSU on Tuesday as we were getting ready for the first round game of this tournament with more than a dozen questions, mm. demanding a response by Thursday, right before we're scheduled to tip off. Are you kidding me? Hold mm. on. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, she said the reporter has been trying to get her to sit for two years. Two. So at, at any point in time, did she ask the reporter, can you shoot me some questions? Right. But it's probably a reporter that she really don't get along with because it seemed like- She don't get along with any of them. Yeah, the reporter <laughs> trying to be a little devious. It seemed like the reporter has some information on her that he doesn't want to reveal, that I'm assuming only he knows, which I doubt. It's just him that knows. No one else has brought it to her, the world's attention. But I think he's trying to use it as, as bait to get some of the questions he wants answered. This and not you. Did, it, did he release it yet? Did it come out? No. But here's the thing. Now tell me what you think people want to do. Tell me what you think people want to read, Ocho. This article. Yeah, most definitely. So most I, definitely. I'm hold on. So let me let me get this straight, Ocho. So for two years, yeah, huh? you was uninterested right. in anything this man might potentially have to say. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden, you're interested. Well, damn. Well, I think the fact that he called the school, now that takes it to a whole nother a, a, a different level. Now you calling my employer. Mm -hmm chastising them about some questions. So now they brought it to my attention to ask me, well, what the hell is going on with this reporter? Okay, so now you're crossing the line. Now you're affecting my job and my workplace because now you got LSU involved. So now I got to take care of this and address something that really has no legs. No. Or maybe it does. Maybe this table does have legs. Here's the thing. I think she got wind that mm -hmm. there are some disgruntled players that's okay. a part of this article. Wait a minute. You think they're talking about they talking about her? What did I tell you who would tell you the truth, Ocho? Drunks, kids, and angry people. Now, uh -oh. she's dealing with two of them. Right. Kids and angry. Mm. She got two or the three. Now, if they've been sipping on someone out of shade by Laporte, she mm -hmm. got the trifecta. She in a heap of trouble. I, why would, okay, you're right. I'm not even going to go there. But obviously the players that might be upset would be the ones that aren't really contributing to the success of the team. That's normally and, and, how that works. That's normally how that works. That's normally how that happens, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, uh, that could possibly be true. And a lot of times when people are disgruntled, mm -hmm. we are, everything that the disgruntled person might be saying is true. Mm. But a lot of times people would disregard it because you are disgruntled. Not saying, not saying that Kim Mulkey, whatever they say, I don't know. Right. I don't know. I have no, I'm not privy to any insider information. But what they say, it might be true. Everything verbatim. Mm. But because you're angry, mm -hmm. I'm going to disregard it. Right. Damn. And, and I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to sit here and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, what can it be? Because it has to be somewhat important for her to even address it because the table didn't have any legs. And the fact that what you did just now in addressing it through the media, because the reporter called your school, it might give the table legs when there were no legs to begin with. But it has to be something important that she knows if it gets out, uh, this might not look, look right. Yeah. If he's giving you a deadline, we need to come out and say this or answer these questions because these certain players might have said something. But like of all time, the timing ain't right, though. Of all times to do that. Ocho. People like Kim Mulkey. 
mm. myself, yourself, mm-hmm. high value individuals. Mm. If somebody's trying to get in touch with us over and over, mm-hmm. and it might have something, that's what we got lawyers for. Mm. Contact my lawyer. Give him the questions. Let me look them over. Right. He and I, she and I have a conversation. What's the damage? If I answer these questions, what's the damage if I don't? Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. You know, you know, it's very difficult as a coach too. Now that I think about it, just hypothetically speaking, if it is players that are unhappy with, with the way, the way things were run, it's, it's, it's very, very difficult when you are in a winning environment to keep everybody happy. Yeah, for sure. It's very, it's very difficult. So there's always going to be something that can be said unless it's just something outrageous or egregious that was going on or being done. But I, I really can't see that happening, especially uh, with a woman's basketball coach. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how bad it actually could have been, but like, it's very difficult when yeah. things are going well and it's a bunch of women and everyone just be happy. I mean, some people might not be happy with their role. Some people might might not be happy with the decreased minutes or or maybe be maybe her showing favoritism to other players, specific players for that matter, who are doing really well. Ain't no telling what it is. Now I'm curious. Well, this this might go back because she's only been at LSU for two years. This probably gonna have something to do with some former Baylor players where she spent a lot, a majority of her career. Wait. <laughs> Baylor. Mm-hmm. He ain't trying to. Oh shit, my bad. And I ain't trying to hear about no Baylor, man. Yeah. I'm trying to hear about, you, I ain't trying to hear about what, what happened guess back what? then. A lot of people going to want to hear about it. Your public figure, Ocho. Yeah. People want to hear about it. People, people want to hear about any transgressions you may or may not have had. Mm. That's the society we live in, Ocho. Damn. I don't like that, boy. Right. I don't that, like that. That's why you don't. That's why you don't run for public office if you got things that you tried to cover up. Because, yeah. see, no man can outrun his past because mm. all it does is make you tired when it catches up with you. Ooh. Hey, see, you, you wonder why you. you I, wonder I'm, done, why. I'm done, Ocho. I'm done. Okay, I, ain't, okay, I ain't got no more okay. bars for you tonight, okay. Ocho. Okay. The only bar I got for you is a Nessus Crunch. I got a Nessus okay. Crunch in the refrigerator. Okay. I like you. I, I like where you're going. See, that's why I'm running for office. I'm, 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 I'm going I'm to run for office. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I ain't running for nothing. No, I'm running my mouth. That's all I got to run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know, we growing up, Ocho, how you leave the car running out of the car? I only leave my car island now. Never somebody, yeah. scared, somebody go jumping in and take off. <laughs> I remember, Ocho, I, look, when we was growing up, you didn't, did you? I'm not even just growing up. I'm talking about probably up to like 15, 10 years ago. Right. I go in the, I go in the gas station, right. leave my car, leave key in the car, leave everything. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Depending wish on, I might. Oh, not today you not. Hell you no. Leave what running at the gas. Listen, there was a time where it was okay. There was yes. a time where it was okay. You could leave your car running, walk in the gas station, buy your Snickers, buy your Coke. Now? Wow. Yes. Or your car be gone, what? Gone. Out of mm no, nothing. I don't leave. No, I can't. No, no. You can't leave nothing in the car. I yeah. only leave the car island in my driveway. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm not going to give anybody any incentive. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, Ocho, mm-hmm. you have to protect people from themselves. Yeah. 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 And you, Man, you, know, you, you know what's really bad about that? And I, I think about is I think about human nature. I think about people that that make mistakes in life, that go mm-hmm. through their trials and their tribulations, their peaks, their valleys, their highs, their lows, and then they reach a certain point in life where there's something that they want to achieve and they 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 do everything they can to attain whatever that dream may be. Sometimes it's in political office, sometimes it's a high school coach or a college coach, and then the past and that journey to get mm-hmm. to that 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 pinnacle or that point of something that you've always dreamed of or worked for, but then the past come back and it haunts you. Mm-hmm. We all, we're not perfect, huh? No, for sure. We're not perfect. We all make mistakes. Human mm-hmm. error is inevitable. We do everything we can and try not to fuck up, but at times in life, we make mistakes. You've made them. Hell, I've made them, you know, and it's just... It's a it's a part of life. If life came with a fucking instruction booklet, we'd all be perfect. 
It doesn't nah, come with an instruction booklet. Even if it does, how many people read the instructions to when they get something? So even if life came with instructions or directions, well, ooh, how many people go actually follow well, them? You, well, you're talking there. You're talking there. Come on now. It's Sunday. Because go ahead, we, go we, ahead and preach. Now we know everything. Can't yeah. nobody tell you nothing. Yeah. Oh, he think he know more than me. What well, yeah. damn it? I, do it yourself. <laughs> That's just the way that, that, that that's how we are. That's how we are, Ocho. We yeah. hate when people, I mean, it's almost like I hate to try to give people advice because it's like, you're not going to listen to anything I want to say. Nah. It's like when people ask me, Shannon, well, how do you eat? Well, I say, well, you know, I eat this in the morning and then mm-hmm. I eat this. Man, what what about pizza? You don't need, man, you know, I got to have a CC. Mm-hmm. Now you just asked me, how did I eat? How do I stay and, and right. look like I can still play even though I can't? I'm trying to tell you, but you don't want to do it. Right. Mm-mm. So even if life had an instruction manual, how many people you actually think would read it, Ocho, and then follow it? Mm. That was a good, that was a good one. That was that was a good one. But oh, that's that's crazy. That's Cause crazy. Because that, most of the time we take stuff out of the box, we're gonna try to do it ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Then it's, once it's, we especially if it's something you're familiar with. If it's something when you're familiar you, with, you're gonna try to put it together by yourself. And then once you F it up, oh, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> kind of like life. You yeah. make the mistakes yeah. and you go back and correct them. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I, I'm with you when you're right now. That one thing about it. I'm with you when you're right. So that was a good I one. I don't, I don't, like I said, uh since she found out, potentially found out that there were uh uh players participating while the players are disgruntled, news organization grant people anonymity to speak freely about people in power without fear of retribution or retaliation. Mm. And this is an example why. But here's the thing. Once the, listen, whistleblowers have been really, really good. They helped a lot. Whistleblowers, what we got uh, uh, with Watergate. Deep Throat did the country a, a huge service. Yes, sir. But we already know what happens. That person is never the same. That person's family is never the same. No, no, absolutely not. Especially at that level. Especially at that level. No, no, no. So, you know, you want to have, you want to have anonymity. You want to be able to speak freely without retaliation or retribution. And this is why you do that. Because Kim Mulkey, you know, she's a powerful, she's a, a powerful figure. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I, I probably wouldn't have read it. But because she's so animated, I got to see what they what they're talking about. Now, yeah. Cause you got me interested, Ocho. Mm-hmm. I mean, I ain't really got time. You know, I got a lot of other stuff that I need to read and prepare for. Right. But I'm gonna see what they say. Yes. It is what it is. It's unfortunate. Bill Self, go ahead. You wanna no, ask I was something? saying, I was saying, I was just saying it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Very. 